Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. The Radio Master TX12 I think would probably be purchased mostly by newbies to the hobby uh, because of its, its low price and just in case they don't get let the hobby get to them, which they should of course because it's a fantastic hobby. Um, so what I wanted to do is do a video of setting up for a, a flight simulator for liftoff. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. You basically only have to set up a basic model and then go into uh, lift off, pay for your subscription, and then you can start practicing. So let's switch over to the radio and I'll show you what to do. It is just a basic model, and then we'll go and have a look at lift off and set it up. First thing we need to do is hit the model key and then move down to a spare slot. So we're going to 14, push enter and say create model. And we're going to go for plane, and yes, it's got an engine, so page forward, um, ailerons, we're just going to say one channel, yes, flaps, no, air brakes, no, and then channel two and four are for the elevator and rudder. Okay, there we go. My channel mapping is AERT on this radio, and we're just going to long press and come back out. And then we've got, that's all actually we need to do, but what I'm going to do is hit model key, uh, go across page once, push enter, and I'm going to put lift off in here so I know which one it is. And there we go. When I plugged my Rodemaster TX12 into my computer, lift off wouldn't detect it. And I had a look and I found out what the problem is. If I plug my radio in, we we'll wait for the screen to come up and you'll see this LIB USB Win32 device is incorrect. Now the way we correct this is to click on this better, better USB HS, right click and say update. Now I'm going to browse the drivers and then I'm going to say pick from list. Now. I'm going to choose this one here, the USB input device. Now you can see over here, I'm only picking up the VJoy device, which is another device that I have for my computer. So we've connected there, uh, clicked there, we go next. And there we go. It's coming up as a Tyrannus, uh, but that doesn't matter. There's, we, now the controller is actually there. So if we go into, now go into lift off, we're going to go to options, controls, controller. And don't worry that it shows a Tyrannus radio, that, that's not a problem. We're going to calibrate. I'm going to do a manual calibration. So I am going to click throttle and then move my throttle channel. So there it is, and I'm going to select it. All right, now that is working the correct way as well. All right, then we're going to go on to roll. And I'm going to make sure there's my, that there's my roll access. That's this one. And I'm going to say select. Okay, then we're going to go on to pitch. I'm going to move my pitch stick and I can see this is on channel three. So I'm going to select. And now I'm going to check your, we're going to click your, and I'm going to click that one. And then we, I think, let's just check again. Throttle, rise, throttle coming down. Roll right, roll left, pitch back, pitch forward, and then roll left, roll right. So that is correct. So we can click finish. So we should be good to go there. Now, even on mode one, it's on the screen, it's showing me mode two, but that doesn't matter because everything is working correctly. So let's go out of here, or let's save. Okay. Okay, whoops a daisy. And then we are going to exit. And let's go and test it quickly to see if it's actually working.
Yep, everything's working correctly. But my computer's so slow, so I tend not to play, uh, use the simulator. It's just, um, whoops a daisy. It tends to be too uh, slow. The internet connection I have where I am, um, it just runs so slowly. Okay, there we go. Let's exit this. Now let's test the ReadyMaster TX12 as a controller in Curry Kitten Simulator, which is I think is quite good. Let's go to joystick and you'll see everything, throttle, roll, pitch, and yaw. So let's go back. Okay, let's go to resume sim. Let's have a go. Okay, yep, everything's working properly. Yep, that's working fine. And there we go, you can see it will work on Curry Kittens Simulator 2. And I would recommend it, it's a, it's a very good simulator. Thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below, because I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And please consider becoming a Patreon of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye bye.